Hi, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to get back on today and do a quick read aloud with y'all about one of our favorite books. I think we've read it in class, um, but we're gonna go ahead and read it again because I know we all love it. It's called The Princess and the Pig. And this one was written by Jonathan Emmett and it was illustrated by Polly Bernadette. Okay, this is kind of a long book. Not that long ago, in a kingdom not far from here, a farmer was traveling home from the market with a cartload of straw. The farmer was so poor that he didn't have a horse and had to pull his own cart. In the cart, in the back of the cart lay a tiny pink piglet. Nobody wanted to buy the piglet at the market, but the farmer had taken pity on it. I'll call you Pigmella, he decided, as this seemed like a good name for a pig. It was a hot day and the farmer stopped to rest in the shade of a great castle. Far, far above him on a high balcony, a queen was inspecting her new baby daughter. The queen was so rich that she had seven nannies and didn't have to look over her own child. The queen picked up the baby out of her cradle and held it at arm's length. I'll call it Priscilla, she decided, as this seemed like a good name for a princess. A moment later, a wet, squelching noise came from the baby's diaper, closely followed by an awful smell. Yuck, shrieked the queen, dropping the baby and running off behind the royal nannies. She left so quickly that she didn't notice she had dropped the baby over the edge of the balcony. Down, down, down went the baby into the farmer's cart. Up, up, up flew the piglet into the princess's cradle. So the baby came down and the pig went up. When the queen returned and found the piglet laying where the baby should have been, she let out an even louder shriek and fainted into the nanny's arms. The king thought he knew what had happened. A bad fairy has done this, he explained. The fairy wasn't invited to the princess's christening. So she turned the baby into a piglet to get her revenge. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. Meanwhile, the farmer had returned home and was surprised to discover a baby girl laying where the piglet should have been. The farmer's wife knew, thought she knew what had happened. A good fairy has done this, she explained. The fairy knew how poor we and honest we are and how badly we wanted a child. So she turned the piglet into a baby. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. And so, without a second thought, the baby became Pigmilla, the farmer's daughter, and the piglet became Princilla, the royal princess. Wasn't that long before Pigmilla was able to eat, walk, and get dressed all by herself? And the farmer and his wife soon forgot that she had ever been a pig. Things were not so easy for Priscilla. But the queen, king and queen never let anyone forget that she was really a princess. She cannot eat at a table. As Pigmilla grew older, she grew smarter and beautiful and was admired by everyone she met. As Priscilla grew older, she grew not so smart and not so beautiful and was avoided by everyone she met. And then one day, the farmer's wife overheard some of the castle servants talking about the princess who had turned into a pig. It's just like what happened to Pigmilla, she told her husband, only the other way around. The farmer soon guessed what had happened. The princess and the pig must have swapped places somehow, he explained. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. The poor farmer and his wife were very unhappy. They loved Pigmella, but they knew they must return her to a rightful home. Pigmella was also unhappy. She loved the farmer and, her, and his wife and did not want to live with anyone else. But they were an honest family, so the next day they all went to the castle to the king and queen. The king and queen listened to the farmer's story. But they wouldn't believe it. What nonsense, cried the queen. Ridiculous, the king laughed. 
This girl may be smart and beautiful, but she does not look or speak like a real princess. The queen thought she knew what was happening. It's a trick, she declared. This girl is just a farmer's daughter, pretending to be a princess so that she can marry a prince. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. And so, Pigmella returned home with the farmer and his wife, where she, was, where she married a young shepherd and they lived happily ever after. And no, and never wished that she had become a princess. She looked so happy dancing. And Priscilla also got married to a handsome prince, although he had to be talked into it. Priscilla was changed into a pig by a bad fairy, the king explained. But once you kiss her, the spell will be broken and she will turn back into a beautiful princess, added the queen. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books, they assured him. But unfortunately for the prince, look, you can see the pig all dressed up down here. It is not a thing that happens in this particular book. The end. So this is the princess and the pig. I really like this book. I think it's pretty funny. And it's a little twist on fairy tales. All right. Well, I hope you'll have a great rest of the day. I think Lily wanted to say hi, but she's hiding right now. So we'll have to say hi another time. All right. Don't forget to get on Imagine Learning twice every day. And don't forget that you can log on to your other classes as well and keep up with them. I know Coach Smith loves to see videos of y'all. Ronaldo sent a video that he loved. So keep up the hard work and I will see y'all later. Bye.